Well, we always believe that, um, especially playing in Wankade, given how good the wicket is, we always wanted to create a bowling unit who can control situations because we know that batsmen will put runs on the board, but if he can't control the, the opposition, and even we've seen this season as well, some couple of times, you know, our guys gone for runs, but when you have the quality we've got, the variation we have, we gives Rohit enough options to attack any opposition lineup. So that's something that we've created, especially at the depth we've seen. A lot of the team scoring big runs and we wanted to have something different. Um, Pumra has been fantastic for us and to add to that Malinga and I think um, Hardik as well has, you know, bowled really well at the back end for us in, in quite a few games. So that gives us a fairly good options. So um, we knew that to, to do well in IPL competition, your bowling attack has to be the ones who uh, you know, deliver that for you uh, day in and day out. We we just didn't want to be predictable. I thought we were a bit predictable in, in Kolkata five days ago. And um, in that scenario, I thought they batted really well, especially Shubman, um, who probably was the guy who made that difference so that they could bring Andre early without any pressure. So we wanted to make sure that um, we don't give them that familiarity and try and create opportunities to get wickets. We didn't get wickets, but obviously Hardik came and picked up those wickets. I thought Kunal bowled brilliantly to keep the pressure on. So it was a very good combination. And then Mali with his experience coming back, picking up those couple of wickets. Um, we just didn't let them lose this time around. Um, but that's what a quality attack can do. And they will respond to those kind of situations. And um, we just want them to enjoy their cricket out there. As long as they're competitive and enjoying, we know the processes are good. Well, it's about we, we look at batsmen strike zones and, and how they connect um, and the way the way Mali's ball's been going around. So we just wanted to see if he creates a different angle. He has been bowling around the wicket to left hand, especially with the new ball, not something that it wasn't unusual for him. But we thought like if he creates a different angle for a right hand as well. Um, it's something different for the batsman to look at because he's not a conventional bowler. So the angle that he creates from round the wicket, something the right handers have to gauge and, and find a different way. So uh, we still have to work on it a bit. What are the best options with that? What he can do? And um, so, yeah, it came out well. So it's pretty pleased that, I mean, we don't take want to take credit for that it's the bowler who has to believe in that process and uh, um, for Mal to do that uh, takes a lot of courage well I think more than technique it was about his temperament in the sense that you know be patient um, rather than trying to force the issue so uh, for with Hardik it's about him holding his shape pretty much he's got a lot of power going forward and if he holds his shape and not just look into it, one area where he's improved this year is that he's hitting different pockets. Um, so it's very difficult for bowlers to bowl to him. In, in But it's not the easiest job in the world when you batting at number six, seven, you know, coming in and trying to give that extra runs for the team. But he's adapted really well and he's still learning. So I'm quite happy that the progress he's made over the years and uh, uh, he's a confident player and hopefully he'll carry through and um, a lot of the other guys are helping him as well in that area. Well, they bring a lot of experience in the sense that calmness to that group. A um, lot of the youngsters feed off that. Uh, uh, Bumrah and all those guys, uh, you know, it's, it's good to have. It's a, it's a very uh, good group that we've got with Bondi and, and Zach and, and Mali. So there's a lot of experience playing in different parts of the world different conditions so we try and grasp all that uh, and you can't give too much information also we just pick and choose the guys who need certain things and try and develop their skills I think the important thing in, in T20 cricket in IPL is you can't be familiar with things you have to keep adding new things to your game and try and still execute it uh, good so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but uh, if you don't try them you never know whether it works or not so that's up theory and we, we try and work with the guys on that.